Hello there lovely people, good good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Sorry about that, got a bit stuttering, you know, like in the startup sucks. Anyway, so today I'm reviewing three perfumes for you. Uh, three, all three are marketed towards women, but check this, they're all unisex in my humble opinion. All of them are discontinued. Uh, what a sweet coincidence. So right now, the second episode, I already done one. I have already done one. That was Bentley Fenarpel's Fury, okay? But the second one I'm going to do here, it's a fragrance. Uh, not that many reviews you'll see around, okay? This perfume is one rare uh, under the radar perfume perhaps not many male fragrance reviewers reviewed this but i saw this for the first time somewhere like few years back okay uh, in perfume world one of our best shops authentic shops and they had a tester i loved it like immediately but the price tag i was like ah <laughs> almost a heart attack in my kidney you know so just kidding so today we'll be reviewing uh one of the uh, lesser known perfume from Versace. It's called Pour Femme Oud Oriental. Uh, this is a women's release and I am telling you one thing, this kind of fragrances are pretty much uh, like in the middle. Both gents and women can wear it. So watch it as a unisex perfume. Okay, any fragrance is kind of like gender free for me, you know, like any fragrance, whatever you like, you rock. So this one is EDP concentration 100 ml, all golden affair, gives that vibe of Oud and the name is very bold. Okay, got the Medusa going. Up they got Versace. I have plenty things to say about this, okay? I uh, just gonna take my sweet time, so be patient. So there's the batch code and everything. I believe this perfume is discontinued. I haven't seen a smaller bottle size. Perhaps it comes only in 100 ml. Uh, the bottle is just a fingerprint magnet. This is a golden, like gold bar. You know, like if you've seen 1 million, if you thought you've seen everything, no. Lady million, no. This is the whole thing is golden, okay? Uh, obviously, it's not made of gold. It has Versace written. And I don't like that one aspect. If you touch it, immediately catch its fingerprint. Beautiful Medusa head, just like it's raised, as you can see. Bottom got the sticker. And this is glass painted with golden paint. And it got this Versace key all around the neck. The cap is kind of like plastic light cap, but it has a Versace Medusa up there in the... Uh, sorry, my camera is not going to pick up. But it got the Medusa on the uh, atomizer. That's how that looks. I have sprayed on paper because it's pretty strong. I don't want to spray it's like midnight here so i don't want to spray this on my skin i have few other fragrances i'm wearing but lighter ones show you the spray okay one spray is good enough so this fragrance you know i was telling you let that settle down uh this fragrance has few other ones in the line versace I think dylan blue femme perhaps that's the line and then the uh there's one that lighter one what is it called that forgot that uh, light blue color turquoise you know and the other one in this shape is this versace verse sense okay I love that. And they also have Versace Pour Femme. They all have this same bottle. Versace Pour Femme, Versense, and Oud Oriental. So when I tried it, you know, I really was blown away by the quality. Versace is one of my favorite designer houses. And I did review many Versace fragrances. I'll put the link below, as usual. Um, I sort of like, like to cover all the fragrances I want to cover from a house. That's my addiction or uh, my, you can say, uh, hobby, right? So a lot of Versace covered, women's side, yellow diamond, you know, like uh, Crystal Noir, uh, many others. I'll put the link below. When I tried it, I was like, wow, such a power pack fragrance, totally different from even it's more potent than Versace with Noir. You know, I have that somewhere there. Yeah, it's within reach. Thank God for that. This one is the men's version of the Oud. Okay. You guys know I love this. This is a regal perfume. This is a very long lasting, spicy. Oh man, this is very close to my... Uh, like uh, Creed's Royal Oud. I love that. That's a 10 out of 10 for me. Um, but many Versace I tried. Versace actually surprised me from time to time. This fragrance right here did that. But when I saw the price tag, it was nearly 150 bucks. I'm like, why is this so expensive? Then the guy told me like, just because perhaps it was a Middle Eastern release, perhaps, I don't know. He guessed. Or it's Oud. So Ouds are, in general, retailers are very high. Any Oud you see, designer, niche, Oud is expensive in nature. So I'm like, okay, never mind. I, I just, every time I go there, I just spray once. And I think I finish the bottle every time I visit. So uh, let's try this, okay? So uh, this basically, I think is discounted. I don't see this in Versace shelf, but you can find this in discounters. Price is going to be very expensive. It's not cheap, okay? So different country might have different uh, uh, price tag. So when I smell it, uh, my God, this is a power pack perfume. Um, this fragrance, it's so well done. It's a rose-based perfume with oud. And let me read out the notes. It has uh, up top rose, saffron, and freesia. Mill notes are patchouli, heliotrope, violets. Uh, base notes are agarud, leather, sandalwood, and vanilla. Those are from, thanks to Fragrantica, I always refer to them because I do not remember at this age everything. So this is such a well-done, uh, 
edible kind of a sweet oud, uh, very less spice and uh, everything is so well balanced in here. Perhaps a little bit of uh, saffron play which is a bit prominent. Saffron is sort of like, hey, I'm the eldest among all your notes, okay? Uh, like more than oud, uh, more than the rose, uh, freesia, florals, uh, leather. I think the saffron and the leather sort of like, they're like shaking hand. They're like, we're going to make this something a bold statement. This is definitely a cold weather fragrance, nighttime, uh, mysterious in many ways. The rose note is very mysterious. Um, I definitely, when I smelled it, I could see like it's, a, it's built for women with uh, mature uh, vibes, okay? Uh, this kind of fragrance I would not recommend to young ladies going to school and college. They will smell too uh, mature, you know, with this perfume and they perhaps will scare people off. When I wore it, let me tell you, one funny thing happened. My sister told me because the whole house was centrally AC. So I was wearing it, walking around, leaving a nice scent trail. And she's like, why are you wearing atar? And atar means Bangladesh is not a good thing. Atar means oud. <laughs> and then oud is not a very <clears throat> popular choice in Bangladesh. Most people do not like oud here. Uh, the men they do like but in general if you wear oud in Bangladesh people give you sort of like a negative they think of you like oh this guy with the oil you know so it's a uh, I would say in many ways uh, it gives away a vibe that people are not really friendly towards oud but I love oud I grown to love oud uh, my journey I started uh, smelling different kind of oud synthetic natural oil um, animalic very weird you know I smell skanky ones this one right here it's a very polished, high-class niche quality juice, okay? Versace made a niche for fragrance here. Just forget about the bottle if you do not like it. It's it's like the sun. It's like a solar power, right? I love the bottle, by the way. Minimalist. They didn't put any name or anything. Just the golden bottle represents oud. So when you see a lot of comments under Fragrantic, I read many of them with the highest number of balloons or vote. Uh, many people adored this. Some people say it's a synthetic uh, rose oud combo. Um, I respect everybody's opinion, okay? To my nose, from the oud that I smell, this is one of the best done oud. It reminds me of Armani Privé. There's this rose. Uh, I forgot the name. I smelled it before. Armani Privé rose or something. That niche line of there. And then there was this uh, YSL. I think they suggest in Fragrantica. Majestic rose with their niche line again. So these are, this is very similar to those upper class designer fragrances in the niche side. This I perhaps believe they created just to make it a niche fragrance style. Uh, definitely not for everybody. If you do not like oud, if you do not like rose, don't even think of it. You know, it will give you a headache. Uh, longevity is just, it's really good. It's like not quite like Mansara kind of like black to black. It has a vibes of it, but Mansara will top this performance. But I think they did it on purpose. They could have made it more potent with more headache inducing vibes. I like the performance of it. Eight hours plus in high heat. Okay. On the clothes, I wear this. How many sprays? Two sprays just good enough minimalist even one spray it will just just behind your neck that will be sufficient uh when to wear it i think date night out meeting your friends who are frag heads you know like people who love fragrances who know about perfumes they will give you compliments but something about this fragrance has this chocolatey vibe and i don't know none of the notes are giving that chocolatey vibe but i get a chocolate gourmand vibe it reminds me of one of those uh, Bond number no. 9, New York, I love New York for all, the black one, sort of like a bakery smell. It has that somewhere in the background, but it's not kind of like a jammy rose, okay? So this, uh, who are scared of oud, uh, I would still say, try this out, it's very well done oud. It's something Tom Ford would make, it's something YSL did make, and also I would say Armani, uh, Privet line, they did make, okay? This is that level. So if you should pay for the price of oud, uh, not perhaps more than 100 bucks, okay? I think $100 is a great price for this, but 150 bucks is a little bit high, but money is not an issue, you can try. I uh, really like this fragrance, okay? If you want to project a lot, just spray four or five times, you, it will get you covered. But that leather note, the last point, the leather and the saffron play in this is uh, quite uh, strong. So if you do not like the note of saffron, perhaps uh, do not spray on your neck, so it will really disturb you right from the neck, okay? And uh, high heat situation, do not put this on uh, after the sunset, okay? Uh, this is a perfect fragrance to wear for date night. If you are the foreign countries, if you're in the Middle East, you know, you can impress people with it. Very premium rose oud combo, okay? And even after all these years, I don't know if it's released in 2000 what, but uh, these fragrances, I think gonna be not dated, in my humble opinion. Beautiful creation, rare fragrance, 
guys please check it out those who do not mind the tags of uh, a fragrance that is marketed towards women this perfume actually could be your jam okay oud oriental versace pour femme i give this fragrance a 9 out of 10 excellent value just that one point a uh, little bit less is not that versatile i would wear this mostly in the cold weathers and night time daytime it can become a little bit animalic okay thanks for watching hopefully i could do justice uh, try out that perfume if you see it in perhaps airports this fragrance would be there have a nice day i'll see you soon thanks for watching bye bye